Lockdown is back and staying at home is once again the order of the day. But for nurseries and preschools across the region, it's very much business as usual. It was a real shock, the announcements on Monday, where they've said schools were going to lock down. However, nurseries and early year settings had to remain open for everyone. I think we expected to be open for, for key workers, the same as the last lockdown. However, to be open for everyone, it just feels very different this time. And we're probably as busy as we have been ever. The government says there is very little risk from the virus in early years settings. But many owners and staff feel as if they're being left exposed. It would be nice if we were offered vaccinations. We have very limited PPE in the early years. We don't use masks because we want to try and keep it as normal as possible for children. Early years children do not know how to social distance. We are still giving every child cuddles. Some children will give us kisses. We hold them in their arms, change their nappies. We're not being tested at all unless we're showing symptoms, then obviously we're going to get tests, and we're not priority at all for vaccinations. There we go, come on. Right. Parents and carers dropping off this morning were happy to see this nursery operating as normal. I think it should be open, and I think the school should be open as well. It makes no sense, in, in my opinion, to have them closed the way that they are. It does um, uh, the world of good coming to, to nursery. So I think they take every sort of um, measure that they can do to, to keep them safe. Unlike school teachers, nursery staff are not officially represented by a union, but their arguments are being made by national charities. Nurseries are doing a lot to keep people safe, but at the same time, there is that real concern um, among providers and staff. Um, uh, you know, I've heard of one, you know, one nursery say it's, it's like going into, into war every day, not because the, it's difficult working with the children, but just that sense of risk that is hanging, hanging over them. The Department for Education said early years settings remain low risk environments for children and staff. Nought to five-year-olds continue to have the lowest confirmed rates of coronavirus of all age groups and there is no evidence that the new variant of coronavirus disproportionately affects young children. As if looking after a group of rowdy toddlers were not enough of a challenge, making sense of all these new rules is becoming a full-time job in itself. Sam Blackledge, ITV News, Tavistock.